Rav Machal Machnik, legendary artist here featured at the Levine Gallery. Rav Machal, uh, what do you want people to know about this show here? Well, um, I think this goes back to my first Yechidus with the Rabbi some almost 45 years ago. Uh, uh, the Tafshin Lamed um, Dalad. And I brought in a few pieces of art to show the rubber samples of my work and to ask her what I should do with my artistic talents. But, but that whole story is a little bit for another time. But in the course of the Yechidus, the Rebbe said that I should, he, the Rebbe used the word photostat, and I didn't understand what the Rebbe was trying to tell me, and I kept asking what a few times, and the Rebbe kept saying photostat, to photostat, to photostat, which is a word for reproducing your art. And um, later, when I started to re reproduce lithographs, different things like that, it became uh, uh, obvious to me that the Rebbe wanted that more people should be able to have, you know, Jewish and Hasidic art in their, in their homes and whatnot. And that, um, so in line with that, I wanted to have an exhibition, or I was asked to exhibit here, and I thought it would be a good place to exhibit my reproductions or, or, or enhanced reproductions on canvas mainly, and also lithographs and a few small originals, but mainly the point is to offer reproductions and uh, high-ended reproductions, you want to call it, um, that would be affordable and for the, those who are interested to, to have things on their walls. What do you most enjoy about painting room at all? That's a loaded question. Um, I think what I really enjoy is being able to take a, a, a Hasidic muscle or a concept or a, a feeling I have about certain aspect of uh, Yiddishkeit, God's world, and being able to be slavish or be, it's enclosed into a painting. What's well, very wonderful, uh, a big part of our art gallery is to get Jewish artists to do Jewish work because we strongly believe that to really get it and to get the feeling, it has to be a Yiddish artist. So it's great that you're the first artist, artist that's doing a solo exhibition here after the Gen exhibition, the beginning of many. Um, do you mind if we go over to one of a couple of paintings and just give you a little, tell us some of the inspiration behind the Bible Hall? So we'll start with this big one here on the top. What you'll notice here, which is very cool, is this 3D element. If you look, um, I think you have to come into the guy to really see it. It really pops literally, figuratively, and it's really nice. So Mahal, what's what are we looking at this top piece right here? Uh, this is called... Um three homes and it's basically like 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 an imaginative scene in Yerushalayim the base of Migdash hovering in the background and what's interesting here is also I, I had a hurrah from the Rebbe about that um, there were once saw something which had to do with Gemilas Chasodim which was on the left side of the painting and the Rebbe said that they are in Yanam of Gimel's Chasodim, and therefore should be on the right side of the painting because Alpi Kabbalah or Alpi Chasidus Chasodim uh, is from the right side. So you'll see on the right side, in the right home, there's a there's uh, um, Avram's tent, which represents Chesed, and then there's a Pushka, which is Tzedakah, which is also Gimel's Chasodim. Then you have, way on the left side, you have a shul, and that big um, the shul, and the sh that, that is because uh, tefillah is a voda, is from the left kav, and so therefore that's on the left side of the painting. And then in the middle, I have Bayes Molis Forum, and that's the study of Torah, which is the middle kav. And this is all came from the Hara, that the Rebbe was, was 
giving me suggest or giving me hurrahs about my uh, one of my paintings. Very cool. Um, let's whip around here to the this piece of the hall. Well, that's it's called Tree of Seven, and it has all of the Sheva Minim in there, and uh, including the two grains, wheat and barley, at the bottom, sort of like symbolically on the trunk, um, and then representing also bread, like that. That's like the Torah Mazon, and then on the top you have the like the pomegranate, which is you know it refers to all the mitzvahs, the seeds of pomegranate. And there's a lot of other little details in the painting. Um, Very cool. Then um, this is this is it, and it's the lion, and the, will lie down with the lamb. And um, there's actually like popping jewels, and there's uh, the hidden well springs underneath the tree, representing eight eight chaim, etc. Very cool. Look at those. I love the way you add those pieces that make it really pop. And then you have your little, is that your artwork in there too, right? Yes. yes. Look at that, how cool is that? So great. This Are one's we... also a cool one to speak about. You want to talk about this one? Let's, last one here, let's talk about this one. What's the This needs better theme? light. This is called planting olive seeds. This is called planting olive seeds. And um, this is symbolically represents that, that the, also from uh, one of the sikhs from the Rebbe about that the difference between Golas and Geula is the letter Aleph. And that when we take the Aleph from the word Geula and we plant it into the Golas, then you actually come out with the same word Geula. So what is the Aleph? The Aleph represents uh, the Alufisha uh, Oilam, godliness. In other words, we, we plant seeds, we do mitzvahs, we plant godliness into the world, then you have like the beautiful blooming tree. Michal, what would you say uh, is a big differentiation from you and other people in terms of your work that you want, you'd like collectors to know? And you know, as we feature different artists in the past, the past two and a half years since we opened, what would you want your collector to know specifically about your work, your inspiration, or that you feel that makes you different, that differentiates you? That you can also enjoy the artwork while it's 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 also a good investment. You're not just buying something that you really don't want to look at, but it's a good investment. You can buy something you actually enjoy while it's sitting there for 20 years and gathers value. Definitely, we know <laughs> here here in the art gallery, we've bought many of your pieces on auction. Yeah. So there is definitely value there. The fact that it's being resold on the secondary market is a very good sign and a reflection of real value. Thank you so much, Paula, and I uh, hope to see you again.